But my standards are, are getting a little higher for men now. Right? Are you happy for me? I'm doing better. Thank you. I was walking in my neighborhood, and a neighbor came up to me and said, uh, Amy, ever thought about plastic surgery? I was like, what? Do I look like I need it? I was kind of offended, but then I said, eh, tell me more. And he said, uh, <laughs> he said, well, you know, I'm a producer on a show called Plastic Surgery Before and After. I could get you a discount. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, well then, okay. So I signed on. I signed on and I, I thought, oh, I'll just get rid of a little skin and, you know, have some lipo or I don't know, something, something done. And uh, <laughs> I didn't realize that it all included uh, this uh, lovely thing called a 360. So I'm in my underwear before in a 360. So they can see what I look like in all of my glory. And then after the surgery, they do another 360, which I don't think I look that much better. And then they do that again. And I think, oh, it's not a big deal. Nobody's gonna watch this show anyway. It's on cable. <sighs> Those are the days. Nobody watched cable, right? So about a year later, I'm at Costco and this man comes up to me and says, oh, you look good. And I say, oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. And he said, I love your show. Oh, what show is that? And he said, plastic surgery before and after. And I realized this man see me in my underwear. In my underwear. <laughs> 